Okay, my name, my name is Derek Abram and I'm a Brexit Party candidate for Hull North. Excellent. So, um, talk to us a little bit about how you got involved in this process then, Derek. <laughs> um, I, I, with, a, with a growing sense of frustration that, that the pantomime in Westminster had carried on for far too long. Um, I voted leave in 2016, as 17.4 million people did. I was looking very closely at the shenanigans in Parliament and thought, hang on a second, this is just not working as it should. Um, I got to the point where I could see that there was going to be an election coming and I wanted to try and help to restore democracy. I saw too many people trying to steal democracy by saying that we needed a, a re revocation of Article 50 or a second referendum and neither of which, which to me were democracy at all. Now obviously Hull was a very large leave majority, 67%. How much do you think that's going to um, play a part in the election here and in the counting? <laughs> Uh, it depends actually on turnout. If you look at the turnouts, that are, that are the figures that have come out, it doesn't look as though they're any, anything more than normal. And so there's, although we've heard a lot of, a lot of complaining on the doorsteps and around the city as we've walked around, it doesn't look as though the 48% have been motivated to get themselves out and actually do anything about it by casting their vote, which is a shame. And obviously the exit polls are predicting 368 seats for the Conservatives, currently predicting no seats for the Brexit Party, but how do you feel about that? The Conservatives have promised to deliver on Brexit, do you feel that they're the party that can finally do that? There's two questions in one there. <laughs> I'll start with, start with the first bit. In terms of uh, how do I feel about the, the Brexit party not getting any seats, um, I think if the Tories had reciprocated with the pact, I think that that would have produced a different story. And we've yet to see all the results coming just yet, and I think so that's a bit early, early door, so I'm not going to predict anything just yet. yet. Yeah, I think you might maybe be a bit more confident than I am in terms of making that prediction, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, uh, in terms of the second side of things, uh, with the Tory majority, I'm not absolutely convinced that there isn't actually some discord at high level within the Tory party with their, what their, their idea is of the Brexit deal uh, that they think they can concoct. I've seen a lots of, uh, shall we say, uh, alternative views between Dominic Raab and Boris Johnson's, for example, where they've been saying one thing and somebody else has been saying something else. So I think there's still a lot, lots of, of, of discussion to go on. I'm not quite convinced that the deal that we're looking at at the moment will be the deal that actually will get agreed in the final analysis. Okay, and now I know we've just mentioned that um, we're not going to make any early predictions about the Brexit party seats. One of the other Brexit party candidates, Michelle Dewsbury, there's whispers of her doing very well in Hull West and Hessel. How do you feel about that? I, I, I'd be delighted if she does very well and I'd be delighted, even more delighted if she actually takes it. Um, she's worked exceptionally hard. Uh, I think some people sometimes think that she's, ju she's just a celebrity. That's not the case. She's a grafter in, in a good old fashioned whole sense. She's got out there. She's gone out in early mornings, late nights. She's gone out in the freezing cold and she's done put in the hard yards. And I, and I think people should respect that. And I think people should respect that from all politicians, quite frankly, because we've had to. It's a December election. You know, not everybody's wanted to go out in the, in the weather that we've experienced. And I've had, I've had to do it. And I've gone out in some dark and dingy places around the outskirts of Hull. Um, but you do that, because that's what, that's what the job is. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Derek, and, and best of luck for tonight. Thank you, right. for, thank you for joining us. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.